Welcome, and today we're going to be showing you how we modify this Eagle HT uh, RV camper. We'll be showing some of the components and some of the materials that we're using to make this modification. We had Victron components, and we used uh, uh, Zian Shine uh, solar panels as well. We had four of those panels, replacing the one that was up there. Justin, our installer, is prepping the frames with Z brackets. And we were able to get our forklift and lift it up so that it's easier for him to access the panels. The idea of putting two panels in series and then two strings in parallel is to have even distribution of power that keeps the panels running more efficiently than just to have them all in the series where one panel goes out, it kind of diminishes your, your power from your entire array. This way, if two panels get covered, you'll be able to make sure that uh, uh, you don't lose the, the efficiency of the other two and they'll still provide plenty of electricity. Having the right tools is essential when connecting the MC4 connectors the four connectors have a specific crimping tools with their metal inserts. Having them properly done will ensure that they will never come out. And here he is making final adjustments, connecting the inline fuses, and getting them tucked under the fam uh, under the frames. This will prevent them from flopping around. There's still plenty of airspace underneath those uh, under those panels. Gives him about an inch of space, so he have a good airflow, and it'll also keep the uh, the connections a little bit tidier. Justin's using the RV roof tape. It's pretty strong stuff. It's weatherproof, waterproof, and it will keep the cables from thrashing about, causing early wear and tear. Using some Dicor self-leveling uh, sealant is essential for putting these uh, brackets on. This will keep the uh, moisture from entering the ceiling where the uh, mounting is going to be placed at. You'll also be placing some of the same silicon, or rather sealant, on top of the bolt heads. This will prevent water corrosion and any kind of uh, weathering. So there we have it, all panels are in place, connected, and ready for the component install. Now we're here we're going to be installing the components into the garage area of the RV camp. Dustin's going to start by putting in the two uh, Victron uh, MultiPlus 2 inverters. These are going to be 3000 watt, 24 volt inverters. Again, placing the junction box in uh, for orientation, making some more measurements. You always want to make sure everything is right where you want to put it um, before you install it. Otherwise, uh, it's a lot of rework, and that's one thing we're not going to have to do. Justin here was working under very extreme uh, weather conditions. It was uh, extremely hot this day. It was over 100 degrees and uh, he's wearing his cool vest and uh, a hat that keeps his, uh, his head cooler because, uh, uh, let me hand it to you, it was, it was quite hot that day. Making connections to the uh, Lynx distributor. As you can see, we're going to be using that as our bus bar. So it's going to be connecting all our devices. Uh, the beauty of that device is that it has uh, fuses that are, are designated for each device. And here he's going to be putting in the charge controller. This is the Victron 70 amp charge controller. And 
Just going to make it some measurements, making sure everything's fitting right where it should be. As you can see, he already has the Orion mounted and he has the Servo GX mounted. He's right now just making sure everything is secure. So all our components are uh, on the bulkhead and that they're not going to be moving and they're easily accessible. The charge controller, Servo GX and the Orion are all being connected to the Lynx distributor. Batteries will also be connected to this using the smart shunt that you see on the bottom of the Lynx distributor and they'll be connected at the top. This is a great way to monitor the efficiency of the power to the system and for protection with the fuses that will be connected as well. You'll notice that we also have a smart shunt on the negative post. This is where the batteries will be connecting to. The smart shunt will monitor the charge and discharge of the batteries. It's making sure that they're all connected into the center junction box. Get some other connections going in, some final uh, leads in for the AC in, AC out. And finally, we're going to be putting in the batteries. These are EG4LL series batteries. Uh, these are 24 volt batteries. And he's uh, making sure that they are very secure. They are quite heavy. You don't want them moving. Securing him is essential. As you can see, he's got the other bracket on the other side, giving some airflow for the back inverter. Now that he's got both batteries in, uh, the battery's just sitting on top right now. He's making sure that the cabling to put the two batteries in parallel is what he's going to be doing. That way we still have 24 volts and we still have a uh, pretty good storage. Now we have a look at how it's installed. You can see that the positives are connected and the positive going up to the uh, dis uh, Lynx distributor. And you can see the negatives going up there into the uh, smart shunt. Okay, what's important, what's important here is that uh, he's going to do some configuration for the multi plus twos, getting them set up. This way communication between all the products that we are using is smooth and accurate. When you're installing Victron multi pluses or any type of AC inverter, you always want to make sure you're turning the breaker off for your converter. That way it's not back feeding back into the batteries. Getting some template placed in, making the hole bigger so that the Touch 50 can go in its place. He's got the breaker panel out and the fuse panel out and he's making some adjustments to the current wiring to make way for the other wiring from the equipment that's coming in. And here he is making some final adjustments after getting all the equipment wiring in, inverters in, so that we all have everything fitting perfectly. And there we have it. Completed garage with all the components in place. Everything seems to be functioning perfectly. Let's take a look inside. Here's the main area of the RV camper. This is the most uh, living area. This is the main living area. And we're going into the small compartment here. And you can see down below we have the vent and we also have the breaker panel. Down below, that's where all those wires he was connecting. That's going to be right there. And of course we have the Touch 50. And it's showing some dynamic information. In a closer look at the uh, Touch 50, you'll notice that there's going to be um, uh, a dynamic movement. So in other words, things that are constantly changing. You can see that the inverting is happening. Uh, we're getting our, our uh, panels charging, our batteries. And of course, we can see some of the other menus for 
monitoring our system. And that's it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.